Seven days, $25 in shopping my pantry. Can I do it? Let's see. Hi everyone, Marlene, AKA Snowgardener 307, here with you today to talk about a pantry challenge. So I am trying to get my debt paid down. So this week I gave myself $150 for groceries, but I only want to spend $25 and that includes all food. So no eating out either. So let's take a look at what I came up with. So let me go ahead and turn you around. Then I'm going to show you what I have left in my pantry, in my freezers and my fridge. So you can see what I'm dealing with. So over here on the counter, I have shopped my pantry. Now I did this for video purposes. A lot of this will be going back into the freezer, but let me show you what I did. So this is my little happy planner that I use for meal planning. I love it because it's got seven little slots right down here or slots. I don't know what they are. So let's see what we're talking about. So today is August 12th. So you're going to see the video tomorrow on the 13th, but I am going to do fish sticks and tater tots. And then on the 13th, I'm going to do stroganoff. Then on the 14th, we're going to do biscuits and gravy, eggs and hash browns and some leftovers. On the 16th, we're going to do hamburger helper. On the 17th, we're going to do rigatoni and meatballs. And then on the 18th, we're going to do leftovers. So let me show you what I shopped out of my pantry. In my freezer, we already had these Gordon's crispy battered fish portions. There's 12 of them. I'm not sure if my husband's going to be home tonight, so we might just be making them for my son and I. And then we've got some golden rounds. But the good thing about this is we can pull out whatever we need. Then we're also going to make this suddenly salad, the BLT version. Then let's talk about stroganoff. I make my own cream of mushroom soup and then I freeze it. It's a recipe that I found on Pinterest and I had found this beef stew meat on sale five for 20. So I had two of those sitting in my freezer. So we are going to make stroganoff. I'll let you know, I've got a lot of other ingredients for stroganoff and that might be what kicks us over the $25. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to do this, you guys. Then we have got our breakfast. So we have got biscuits and gravy, eggs and hash browns. I didn't grab the eggs out, but I've got eggs. We've got hash browns. We had this maple Jimmy Dean sausage, which is our favorite for biscuits and gravy. And I already had two packs of country gravy mix. So the only thing I have to buy for this meal is biscuits. Then we've got some good old hamburger helper. I think this might be too much burger for the box of hamburger helper. We're also going to do a veggie of some sort. I've got canned vegetables, frozen vegetables. We might even do a salad with it. But if this is too much beef for that, then this beef will be going over here. Then we are going to do rigatoni and meatballs. And so I have some cheese stuffed breadsticks that I'm going to make with it. Then I've got the rigatoni. This is my last bottle of pasta sauce. And then you guys might recognize this if you watched my grocery haul videos. We have got some ground turkey, which is not really anybody's favorite. That's why it's going into meatballs. We've got hot Italian turkey sausage, and we have got a pack of deer burger or venison, as some people know. So we're going to put all three of these meats together, cook them up. Well, I'm going to form them into meatballs, cook them up. So the only thing that I need for this recipe is one jar of ragu without any additional diced tomatoes or anything like that probably won't cut it for a whole package of rigatoni. So I'm going to get some of that. So let me go ahead and flip you over to my grocery list. And I, this is what I've got. So I need some salad, some fruit. Um, for my lunches, I'm going to try to make some salads and stuff. Then I need onion soup mix. This is for the stroganoff I make. Egg noodles for the stroganoff. Eight ounces of mushrooms for the stroganoff. And sour cream for the stroganoff. We need biscuits, as I said, for the biscuits and gravy. Diced tomatoes um, or tomato sauce, whatever I can find on sale, is going to go for our rigatoni. And then we need some good old bread. So let me show you guys what is in my fridge and freezer right now. So I want you guys to look. We've got milk. We've got juice. We've got some tortillas that I just took out of the freezer. We've got a thing of cottage cheese. Our cheese drawer is pretty empty. We've got this much shredded cheese. We've got some bacon. And then we've got a couple cheese sticks and a couple slices of cheese here in the cheese drawer. We've got the eggs that I told you about. We've still got a few fruit cups, applesauce, puddings. 
And then down here, we have got a couple pieces of pizza left, and then we've got some French toast bake left, and then we've just got some overflow for condiments. And then look, empty and empty no fruits or vegetables we do have plenty of condiments so none of those are on our list this week we've got dressings and hot sauces here we've got pickles relish jalapenos olives things like that there then we've got ketchup mustards and mayonnaise miracle whip and then down at the bottom we kind of have a hodgepodge of syrups and salsas and you know who knows what else is in there let's take a look at this freezer in here this is where the food that I just pulled out is going to go. So I did clean this up really quick. So on the top, we still have some frozen lunches for my son. This is our breakfast shelf. So we've still got bacon. We've still got toaster strudels. We've still got a few burritos. And we've got a couple of the banquet breakfast pies in the back. And then this shelf right here is a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. We've got some meat on there. We've got a ham bone that I still want to do ham and beans. But I have a hard time making up a big old pot of ham and beans in the summer. Then these couple things in the front right here or for me for lunches down on the bottom i went through this and we have got some chicken patties some pizza rolls some mini corn dogs some burgers and some veggies and then in here we don't have too much food there's loki he came to say hi we've got some stadium brats so uh, let's walk on to this fridge and freezer and i know you guys are shocked that the yorkies are barking so let's take a look We've got some jellies in here. We've got a Cool Whip. We've got some English muffins. Here is some of that cream of mushroom and some green chilies. And then over here, we've got quite a few burgers. I caught these on sale. We've got some tortillas that I caught on sale. More cream of mushroom here. Some more Cool Whip. I don't remember what's behind this. So no time like the present to look and see. Oh, that's right. We've got some more waffles in there. And then we also have some vegetarian options that I found on sale that I need to pack up for my lunch and take for me for lunch to make tacos. And then down here, we've got a couple more things in my English muffins that I found on sale. We've got some ribeye steaks that I've been waiting for my husband to get back for. We've got some ribs, some deer steak, deer burger, and we've got a little bit of ice cream. We've got a couple things of top round, and then I have got five bowl type things for lunch and some more tortillas up there is what that is okay then let's turn around and look at the pantry I know it shocks you guys we still have plenty of cereal my hubby has got plenty of coffee and all of this of course is our baking stuff our overflow we've got plenty of breakfast stuff I've got some snacks there lots of salsa um, still have all of this. We still have hamburger helper, mac and cheese, suddenly salad. If you watch the video, you can see we've been eating it. There is less than there was before. This is our pasta basket mainly, and it is getting emptier. And then we've got our baking basket, which is still pretty full because we haven't been doing a lot of baking. And then we've got our snack shelf. And it's it has still got quite a few on there, but it's certainly not as full as it was. We definitely don't have as many crackers as we used to. We've got a couple things of croutons there. This is our snack basket that has stuff like uh, granola bars in there, little bags of chips. And then we've got some chips, some goldfish, different things like that. And then down here, you can see this is looking pretty empty down in here. We normally have tomatoes and pizza sauce and stuff back there it's pretty empty we've got a few canned vegetables some tuna this one is still pretty full with our soups and refried beans and our broth and then we've got our backup condiments so that is what our pantry looks like let me go ahead and take you to the garage what we're doing the first drawing in the middle of the video you just never know what's gonna happen on snow gardener 307 Hello everybody, it is that time. It is time for our pay it forward drawing. Today we have three different prizes. We have three $25 coupon to Etsy shops. And I will let you guys know that we do have some international people on the wheel. If you are an international person, then I will give you a $25 gift card to Amazon or another place of your choice. So let's go ahead and get started. We had 38 entries and we actually had a person that gave a question that didn't want an entry because she has been winning so much and you know who you are, Kathy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle twice. And so we've got 38 entries and some people have more than one. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna thank you guys for your questions for my husband's Q&A. It is gonna be so much fun 
to do this. So we have got a winner. We have got Mommy Trader. You have won a $25 coupon to Katie Budgets. Please message me down below or send me a message over on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and remove Mommy Trader because she won. This is our outdoor freezer. We have still got brats, hot dogs, some teriyaki pineapple meatballs. We still have the Zataran sausages that I need to come up with. I've got a couple things of rice cauliflower here. I also have some voila bird's eye meals. We've got a pizza roll here. We've got some frozen dinner rolls. We've got a package of broccoli. This is probably what I'm going to do with the stroganoff. We've got one loaf of bread and one bagel thin. And let's turn over to here. Up on the top shelf, this is all pork. So we still have plenty of pork, plenty of pork sausage. We purchased a half of a pig, so that's how we have so much. Then down here, we have got chicken, and we've got a couple more of those hot Italian turkey sausages. We've got a big bag of broccoli florets. We've got some more fish back there. That there's pepperoni, and we've got a bunch of tortillas. Now, till I came out to shop in my outdoor freezer, I forgot all about this. This is the top of our wedding cake. Our one year anniversary was just a couple of weeks ago and we forgot. So I need to take it out when my husband's back in town so we can have the ce celebratory piece of dry cake, right? Is that what it is? And then down here, we kind of have a hodgepodge. We've got some more pork there. We've got a big beef roast. We've got ground beef. And then behind there, we've got meals that are already prepared. So I've got beef stew back there. I believe I have taco soup. I have, I believe maybe spaghetti sauce back there. And then down here on the bottom, this is our the rest of our deer burger and deer steak and stuff. And look at, it's empty down there, still needs to be cleaned out. So if you saw my freezer last time, you can tell that we've been shopping through my freezer. And oh, let's go back inside. There is Zeus. Say hi, Zeus. <laughs> All right, oh, the other Yorkies heard me. That is what I'm working with. That is what I decided to do. And I gave myself a $25 challenge. Um, the stroganoff is going to make it harder, but that was a family request. So I figured I can do it. I can just buy less stuff. And just so you guys know, I haven't really been buying a lot of soda. I do have some two liters of soda. And I just realized I didn't show you that fridge. I showed you the freezer and then the pantry, but not the fridge right here. All right, I forgot this fridge. Sorry about that, you guys. Remember I told you guys I had eggs. No problem. Um, these are from somebody that my husband put a water well in. I believe it was a homesteader and they gave us all kinds of eggs. So I believe my husband's going to be pickling some of those. We have still got a couple gallons of almond milk. We've got an almond coconut and a dark chocolate in the back. I still have a regular one in the fridge. I'm going to be doing some quick oats. We've got another gallon of milk there. We have got the Dr. Pepper Zero that I love to drink. This is our backup cheese drawer, which so you can see we've got some sliced cheeses and we've also got some Parmesan cheese, some sandwich slices, and we do not have any lunch meat. We also still have some fruit cups down there. Down on the bottom is beer and alcohol. And in the side here, you can see I've got butter, I've got cream cheese, I've got more pudding. I'm gonna be giving this bubbly to my sister-in-law, Shannon, because I do not like it and she likes it. And then we've just got a couple syrups in there and that's what we're working with. I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys about the fridge in there, but let's see what we can do at the grocery store. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of filming in the store as long as it's not too busy, but it does get kind of awkward when you're talking to your phone and people are staring at you. So let's get going. Time for the second drying. Next is going to be a $25 coupon code to happily ever plans. And this is Therese. And she let me know that she has set up the coupon code to be either for her Etsy shop or for her website. And you guys, if my phone is moving around, I apologize. I am holding it here and my arm is already getting tired. So let's go ahead and shuffle this twice. And we are drawing for a $25 coupon to Happily Ever Plans. Let's see who the winner is. I just love this wheel. It's so much fun. So fair this way. Okay. Oh, and our winner is Joanna. Joanna, please make sure that you message me down below or if you follow me on Instagram, please send me an Instagram message. So I am going to remove Joanna from the drawing, but only once because she has more than one entry. Okay, everybody. So here we are at the store. Remember, 
$25. Let's see if we can do it. So as I'm walking into the store, I do want to give a big shout out to my friend Cynthia from Our Bigs Adventure. She has motivated me to getting back to doing my meal prep and my food planning, along with using the items that are in my stockpile. So if you guys haven't checked out Our Bigs Adventure, make sure you go check out her channel. She has an amazing stockpile and an amazing channel. <laughs> say I'm in town I get an ocean we both walk the same ground been traveling all over such and far and away for a sign to lead me straight we walk together down the streets of our home it's been forever a long time that I've been expensive so instead I bought um, just some 
iceberg lettuce and some romaine lettuce. Much cheaper that way. But I think I'm under 25, but I'm not positive. I kept track, but we will see when we go up. It was pretty tough. That Some of that stuff was expensive. The bread that my son likes was not on sale and it was $3.09. So out of 25, that takes quite a bit. I didn't want to talk to you guys like this up at the register. So that's why we're walking up and down this aisle with nobody in it. So let's head to the register and get checked out and see where we're at. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobby bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all Okay everybody, we're all done And just in case my footage inside of the store Doesn't turn out, it's so hard to film Without making people nervous And without them knowing I've got my receipt right here, which I know it's going to be backwards, but I do want to, I'll show you guys, I guess, at the house too, but super excited. Let me see if I can get this and hold this up right. So right there, my total is 24.23. So we made it. We made it. So let's get home. We will take everything out. I'll show you really quick and then we'll be done. All right, so we're back home. Let's look exactly what I have and what I decided to get to stay within that $25 budget. So you guys watched me put most of the stuff in the cart, but let me tell you what we got. Let's start over here on this side. So these are the items that I needed for the stroganoff. And as I said, this was part of what was gonna make the $25 budget hard. I had the meat, I had the cream of mushroom, but I needed sour cream, I needed onion soup mix. And of course, the good thing with this is this is two pouches. So this will be good for one more. I needed some egg noodles. Now, I could have done without the egg noodles and used some of the other noodles. But my family absolutely loves it on the egg noodles. And those were two bucks. So I figured it was worth it. We needed some mushrooms to add into it. I love buying the sliced mushrooms. And I would have bought the whole ones if I hadn't been making this within a couple days. Just because of the color of those. And then I bought some different produce and some fruit. For salads, I told you guys in the store that the bag salad mix was out of control. So I grabbed a big head of romaine, a head of iceberg, and I went ahead and grabbed a small head of green cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and slice that up or shred it up, I guess you would say, and add it, add it into the salads too. This was on sale, I think, for 58 cents a pound. So that added like a dollar, but it's gonna add a lot of texture and a lot of crunch. Then for salads, I grabbed a red bell pepper and a cucumber and a couple tomatoes. And then for myself, because my family doesn't eat a lot of fresh fruit, I grabbed myself a beautiful pink lady apple. So I'll take that to work this weekend with me. I grabbed four bananas. And then for my son and my husband, I grabbed a loaf of bread. And we do have one in the freezer, but typically I have four or five. They just have not been on sale this summer. Normally I buy these when they're $1.99 or $1.49. I paid $3.09 today for this. Luckily, the biscuits were on sale. These are our favorite ones, the Grand's Flaky Layers. And so we've got two of those. And then I went ahead and grabbed two things of tomatoes. I grabbed an Italian style and a regular petite diced. I'm not sure if I'll use both of those in my rigatoni with meatballs or not. I did want to let you guys know the meatballs, that will probably make three batches. So that's going to be for three meals. I'll cook them up and I'll freeze part of them. So that is my haul today. We made the $25 challenge. This is what's so important about stockpiling when stuff is on sale. And like I said today, I avoided sales like the plague. I tried not to look. 
I just kept going without looking at the sale prices and stuck to my list and I did good. Thank you guys for joining me for this fun Freaky Friday grocery haul $25 challenge edition. Now we are going to be doing the drawing next. So make sure you let's go ahead and shuffle again. And the final winner is going to win $25 to my Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and get started. One more winner for our pay it forward drawing for 900 plus subscribers. And this time the winner is Claire Hewitt. Congratulations, Claire. Again, please message me down below. Or if you follow me on Instagram, please send me a message over there. Congratulations to all three of our winners for our pay it forward. I do want to let you guys know right now, I believe we are 60 away from that 1k on our journey to 1000 subscribers on our pay it forward drawings. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the upcoming drawing. I already have some amazing prizes in line. Okay, everybody, until next time, make sure you keep on smiling. Bye.